Human rights lawyer Femi Falana San has sued the Nigerian army, its chief of army staff and the attorney general of the federation, praying for an order stopping the planned operation positive identification by the army. The suit was filed before the federal higher court in Lagos on October 25. According to Falano, the planned nationwide operation scheduled for November 1 to December 23, 2019, by which Nigerian citizens would be required to move about with means of identification is unconstitutional, illegal, null and void. He argued that the planned operation violates his right and that of other Nigerian citizens to liberty as encapsulated in Section 35 respectively of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended and Article 6 of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights Act and Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004. The operation required Nigerian citizens to move about with legitimate means of identification such as the National Identification Card, Voters Registration Card, Driver's License and Passports or other valid official identification. The Chief of Family Staff, Lieutenant General Tukoboratai, on Thursday said that the Operation Positive Identification would not hinder the day-to-day -day activities of Nigerians. Bratai made this known while fielding questions from the House of Representatives Committee on Army in Abuja, represented by the Chief Civil Military Affairs Major General Usman Mohammed. Bratai said the Army had submitted a detailed report on the OPI to the committee. Bratai said that the OPI is one of the sub operations which is ongoing in the Northeast Zone. According to him, based on credible intelligence, Boko Haram terrorists are no longer in their enclaves. They are spreading out away from their traditional strongholds. The chief, the army chief said the OPI, which started in September 22 in the northeast, was based on intelligence. Joining us in the studio to discuss this is a political technocrat, Dr. Kayode Adidayo. Thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, my pleasure being here again. What's your take on this latest development from the army? Yeah, you see, I have to look at it from uh, different perspectives, okay? Like what my brother, uh, Barista Femi Falano, S-A-N, is doing, is right on one side. But on the other side too, you're going to see that in the past, we Nigerians, we have slept off in knowing one the number of people the number that we are our demographic characteristics then secondly in knowing the number of immigrants that we have among us going from there can we also look at what the rules of the military should be within the territorial integrity called Nigeria. Is it part of their functions to be determining who a Nigerian is or not, or to be fishing out illegal immigrants or not? If they are saying yes, then what is the role of immigration? Another aspect is this. Knowing fully well the nature and character of our soldiers, I repeat again, the nature and character of our nature, I mean of, of our, soldiers. our soldiers, are they the type of people or are they really trained to be able to handle civilians? If we want another force, aside from immigration, where is the police? Okay? Now, if you are also saying that it won't affect the movement of people, considering what I said initially, the nature and character of soldiers, let's assume I'm coming here now. You know the way Lagos is. Traffic that you cannot predict. I've looked at it that from Ojodu to this place, it will cost me one hour. But I've seen a situation whereby from road safety to beggar, Instead of driving it two minutes, I spent about 15 minutes because of traffic. Okay, moving away from that traffic, probably at that uh, entrance to express, and now meet these people. They will now be asking what is not. Okay? They will say, okay, is this fake or not? 
because they are not trained to identify original or fake of all those ID cards. By so doing, wasting more of my time. Now tell me, how will I get out of time? Well, the, the, the situation in the Northeast, they are the reason they are giving is that those uh, insurgents have moved away to other parts of the country, infiltrating the uh, civilian population to try and perpetrate their actions. Would you say um, gagging them from doing this is a breach of their constitutional responsibility of protecting the territorial integrity of this country? I will look at it also from two perspectives. One, this same brata I said the insurgents have been defeated initially. You remember? They still maintain that they've been technically defeated. Yeah, if they have been defeated. So why are they now telling us that they have infiltrated into other parts of the country? So that means it should first of all withdraw that statement. That is one. Two, if these people had moved to other parts of the country, how will they, are they trained to identify them? Or immigration and police? Those, those are my own, I mean, concern. Because let me tell you this. There has been some kind of gap of insincerity in between the leadership and the people. Okay? People have been insinuating series of ideas, series of thinking as to why they now want to bring in the could military be, to all it, these things. Could it be, you, you just mentioned that there seemed to be, you know, bad blood between the army and Nigerians or generally. I'm not, I'm not saying yeah. there is a bad blood. What I'm saying is there is a the, miscommunication. The, soldier, mm, the soldiers are not trained to handle civilians. But do you see trained. anything positive in this operation, like the intention for setting up this operation, identification? Do you see any positive at all? Well, before I can say that, we have to look at precedents. We have to look at what the government has done in the past and what, what are the outcomes, what are the concomitant effects on the people before we can now say yes. We tr and that's what I said initially. There has been a kind of a gap of mistrust between the people and the government. A deficit that you don't believe will be fixed or it can be fixed? In that what? Can that deficit of distrust be abridged? Yes, but uh, it, it, trust, trust is not, cannot be built in a day. Okay. Thank you very much, sir, for your time on My the pleasure. news. My pleasure. My pleasure.